What's up everyone, hope you're all doing well and good on Tuesday the something of May. I've lost all, it's half term so I've lost all track of what day it is, what date it is. Um, it is once again early weigh day for me, so uh, it's Tuesday, normally my weigh day is Thursday, I only weighed in Thursday last week, so I've had what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, just only five days. Um, however, unlike the last time I weighed in, this is the, the third time in two weeks, no, third time in two weeks? This, the second time in three weeks. Oh god, that was painful to work out. This is the second time in three weeks that I've weighed in early on a different day at a different group. Um, the last time I did it was because I'd fallen completely off plan and just needed to draw a line under it and get past it and move forward. This time, in a much more positive um, turn of events, it's because I'm away tomorrow night and Thursday night, which is uh, Thursday's my normal group, so I won't be around for that and a possible group that I could have gone to tomorrow, I'll be um, unavailable to do that. So I had to really do it today. And I knew that I had to do it today last week, so I've been prepared um, to come today. So uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I lost three and a half pounds last week and I've only had five days, I say only, but I've had five days, which is less than normal. And the last time I lost three and a half pounds, I actually gained four pounds the next week. However, this time I have been 100% on plan again. I had a bit of a uh, an off night, not an off night, but I allowed myself a little bit of a treat on Thursday night as I normally do after weighing in. Um, so uh, fingers crossed I will do better this week having lost three and a half pounds as a follow on than I did last time. Last time I lost three and a half pounds was uh, just after doing mission speed, which was 10 days of getting sp extra speed into every meal. I've pretty much done that as normal um, this week, so we'll just see i'm cautiously optimistic about this week in that i should see a loss on the scales um but as with everything we'll just have to wait and see so i'm nearly there like i say i'm at a different group this week so i'm literally just going to go in and weigh i'm not going to stay to group or anything like that so uh fingers crossed i see a positive result and i will check back in with you shortly so bye well i'm annoyed as i was leaving bit of a blind corner I must admit but I was leaving the room about to turn turn the corner to go back down the stairs and these two cantankerous old cretinous harpio women who were just stuck in their own little world almost bashed into me and didn't I managed to avoid them because I stepped out of the way and I said sorry because I'm hideously British in that way and they looked at me like I was something that I'd st they'd stepped on and then carried on talking and pissed off towards the weighing counter so I, oh, I just really really hate it when people are that rude um, but I'm not that upset because A I don't care about them and B I lost two and a half pounds so I have absolutely no idea how that happened but I lost two and a half pounds um, considering it's two days early uh, yeah so I'm really really happy like that I'm perplexed but I will take it every day of the week so if you want to turn a bit slower, come on. What is, you, everything, the universe is conspiring to ruin my good mood. Um, but I lost two and a half pounds, so yes. Uh, and the reason that I'm so happy about that is, I, like I said, I had to weigh in early because I'm away tomorrow night. I'm off up to York to see friends. So this is the trip that I should have done about six, seven weeks ago, but they got canceled. We had to rearrange it. So I'm finally doing it tomorrow, which means I'm going to be off plan tomorrow night and probably all day Thursday. So. I have got nine days until the next weigh-in, but I'm gonna lose two of them to be massively off plan. I'm not even gonna to attempt to be on plan. Um, so I know that I'll have a week from, th well, Thursday night, Friday morning, that I'll, I'll be just be doing damage control, really. So if I can maintain for next weigh day, I will be, that will be it for me. I will be happy at that. I apologize for there being no montage this week, but I've not filmed anything, so. Um, yeah, I apologise for that, but um, it worked well last week. Obviously, the residual stuff has carried on. I've been on plan 100%, so it's all paid off, um, even two days early. So I've made a video a few week, couple of weeks ago about May goals, and I said that my main May goal for this month was to get three losses. I didn't quite manage that. However, I did get two losses out of the remaining three weigh-ins that I had when I made that video. So as Meatloaf, uh, the great Meatloaf said, uh, two out of three ain't bad. So I'll, I'll take that. Uh, oh, Meatloaf.
So yeah, in terms of June goals, because obviously every way day from now on in will be June, so I'm going to double this up as a June goals video so that I can actually uh, get it done. So I think it was Sarah SW that started or tag, tagged started the May goals tag. I'm just going to continue it on because it gives you something to aim for. Uh, the big one for me is consistency. I would quite like to consistently, uh, not necessarily lose, but just keep the consistency up. I've had, I've been on plan 100% since Friday morning. Like I say, I was, I had allowed myself a little treat on Thursday night, but I've been on plan since Friday morning. I've, I've measured sins. Uh, I've tried a load of the new Slim Zone stuff from Hazda. I say new, it's probably been out a while. So if you want to see that, go to my Instagram page, and I've, I've measured the sins and I've, I've talked about the sins and stuff. So the Slim Zone stuff, I really like it, but it varies so massively in, in sins that. I would say get a list of what they've got first to find out all the nutritional information which is on the website you can go on the Asda website and they've got all the slim zone stuff and and put it through the sin calculator on the website before you even think about going and buying stuff because I bought stuff thinking it would be low in sins and it turned out to be like 11 sins or something like that um, so just be careful but everything that I've had I have been under sins for the week so my June goal is very simply just to be consistent and keep that going because the last couple of weeks have been the best, it's been the best two weeks, two weigh-ins I've had for ages. And it's been the best that I've been on plan for ages as well. I've had no slip-ups whatsoever. Everything has been measured, everything has, has been countered. Uh, I've had loads of fruit, I've had veg with every meal. So I'm finally getting back into a consistent rhythm. And I actually want to be in this rhythm as well now, which is a really good thing. Like I can see myself, We I went to see Deadpool yesterday with my sister, Deadpool 2. Um, and she was like, do you fancy going to get some food? Uh, and I was like, yeah, I do. But at the same time, I don't. And she was like, that's great. So um, I managed to say no to a Burger King with my mum last week. I said no to a McDonald's with my sister yesterday. So I'm kind of getting back to that place where I feel in control and I feel good and I feel like I'm on plan and, and ready for um, the summer, I suppose. I mean, it's only taken the arrival of the sun to, to make me realise that I don't want to be a podgy, budget block of ham looking, pale ginger fella sat on a um, bench somewhere just looking like an absolute sack of crap. So, positive way to end the video. Two and a half pounds off, I'm very happy. June goal, be consistent. And oh, until next time, I will see you later.